This is a Gato Consulting production, Strategy for Action, analyzing your market and competitors. The analysis has three parts. We will look outside of the company, inside of the company, and we will be putting it all together using an improved SWOT analysis. This is the first video on external analysis covering how to look at your industry, market, and competitors. First, we will look at some broader factors that affect your industry, such as economical, legal, environmental, or technological. We will list major trends and the positive and negative impacts that affect or may affect your business. We will do this for the short term and long term, starting to identify opportunities and threats with a clear intention of laying short term action in a way that sets you up for future, possibly bigger opportunities. Indra Nui, previously a strategy consultant at the Boston Consulting Group, was a very successful PepsiCo CEO. In this interview, she tells us how she started the company transformation with a forward scan of the market. And the best way to reinvent yourself and future-proof yourself is to look at the mega trends. What are the big trends, you know, 10 years, 15 years out that could be uh, majorly disruptive for us today? Um, and how do we make sure we make the changes so that we are not caught flat-footed when these trends come upon us? We did such an exercise and it became very clear that consumers were shifting their tastes to healthier products. Not super healthy products, but healthier products, lower calorie products. As we start looking at the market, the first step is to define market segments. And for that, we must define the variables of segmentation. They could be region, product or usage types, type of customer, defined for instance in terms of income, lifestyle or age group, or several other variables. Then we should evaluate the attractiveness of each market in terms of size, growth, life cycle stage, how well served they are or not, and profitability. Let's measure the market. I mean it. Although there are usually several free sources out there which can be used, we should really use detailed syndicated data if available and or develop a market survey to measure things you can't obtain any other way and that you have to know. Like the market's real size, in info about your competitors, such as their market share, products features, pricing, and what kind of reputation do they really have? And your own, how well known are you? And if so, what is your reputation? The advantage of a customized inquiry is that you'll also be able to tap into things that are really important, like customer needs, namely unsatisfied needs, and even customers' willingness to pay for your products. There is no other way to get this info and possibly tap into amazing opportunities. Here is one of Michael Dell's lessons on the importance of what was just said. Quote, what are the unsolved problems customers have and how can we go address those? Unquote. You really have to do anything you can to find those, including surveying your customer base or standing next to them as they use your products. And another piece of advice from him on the heels of this. Imagine what the future could be like and think about opportunities differently than others. As Michael Dell says, you should look at opportunities differently. First, you have to find them. A lot of firms would conduct brainstorming sessions to come up with a SWOT analysis. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And we'll do that too. But I promise to leave no stones unturned. Strategy for Action covers 23 areas where we'll scan for opportunities in a very detailed way. The point is, you don't have to be a visionary or lucky to find the best opportunities. For now, we're still in the first steps looking at market and competitors. And especially here, you need to use as many detailed tools as possible to search for opportunities. And so, here are a couple of great success stories of doing so. But keep in mind, although these are examples of large companies, this does not have to cost a fortune. I currently use syndicated data that costs only a few thousand dollars a year. I've used online surveys for nearly nothing. And I've hired professional companies to conduct questionnaires to large significant samples, also at very affordable costs. Here is again the CEO of Procter & Gamble from 2000 to 2009. Olay was an aging brand relevant to 50-year-olds plus and selling at a price point of $5 to $8. A.G. Lafley talks about what triggered him to create four premium lines of product for Olay, commanding a new price range of $15 to $60. And what happened after that? We did our consumer homework and we learned that, guess what, women at 30 and 35 are already starting to pay attention to sure. different signs of aging. And all of a sudden we had a business that was two and a half billion dollars instead of a half a billion dollars. 
Robert Rosenberg, led Dunkin' Donuts from 1 to 65 under locations. In this interview, he speaks of being a very keen observer of the market and competitors, doing attitude usage studies, cohort analysis, test markets, and surveying his customers and franchisees, basically having the same competence as a consumer packaged good company. Munchkins and iced coffee, for instance, originated from using these methods. Intently watch the consumer, talk to the consumer, measure the consumer, measure the competition. It's, it's continuing and it's changing rapidly all the time. I first learned most of these lessons myself during my years at L'Oreal, doing FP&A and working closely with marketing, namely in launching a couple of brands in Portugal, Fructis and Maybelline. It's your homework. You just have to do it and in a proper way. Know your customers and competitors very well. Let's now look at how to analyze competitors. After identifying the main strategic groups of interest to you, we will do a deep dive into each of the top five or 10 competitors. We will look at things like their size, what products do they specialize on? What is their brand awareness and reputation? What kind of price premium, if any, do they command? Their organizational structure and their value chain what do they do in-house versus what is it that they outsource? We will look at the background of their board and executives, trying to appreciate their experience and the type of things they did in the past that they could be repeating now. We will try to figure out their ambitions. You may think you are the market leader, but how many of them say they are the market leaders or want to lead your market? And what kind of assumptions do they have on the market that could determine how they play the game? And we will also try to anticipate how they might react to your company's moves. And by the way, some of this data will be so much better if obtained in detail, possibly through the same market survey mentioned above. Here are a couple of my favorite quotes to drive home the importance of having good quality competitive info from Michael Porter, Harvard Business School. Many companies do not collect information about competitors in a systematic fashion, but act on the basis of informal impressions, conjectures, and intuition gained through the tidbits of information about competitors every manager continually receives. Yet the lack of good information makes it very hard to do sophisticated competitor analysis. Analyzing competitors is too important to handle haphazardly. And from Bruce Greenwald, Columbia Business School, strategy, by definition, looks outward to the marketplace and to the actions of competitors. Well, you get the point. One last thing. If you are in an industry where most players do not have good market info and you make the effort to have it, that alone can be a source of advantage to beat your competitors. You have the choice to be a step ahead, and I will help you with it. Before we go, a reminder to go to the Toolset page of our website. It has all the tools that support this video and will allow you to implement the framework. www.strategyforaction.com forward slash toolset. This is a Gato Consulting production. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. There are plenty of new videos coming up.